Hi guys, so when I was in LA over the summer, I went shopping in Little Tokyo a few times and I found this really cute store called Monkey Pants. So while I was there, I filmed a short video and I thought I would take you guys shopping with me. So this is a kid's store, but they have a lot of cool things that if you watch my channel, I think you'll love. These are Jinbei, which are like little pajamas for kids to wear to the summer festivals in Japan and they're kind of hard to find outside of Japan so I thought it was really cool that they had them here made a mental note um, if I ever have to get one for like one of my relatives or friends <laughs> um, there are a lot of cute little plushies that you don't only see well there's a lot of pusheen stuff here so Pusheen I think is really cute but I tend not to buy a lot of pusheen items just because I feel like there are other things that I like better this egg headband was really cute. Um, when my kids were little, I made headbands for them, but like after they turned like one or two months old, they learned how to just take hair clips out of their hair and they never really liked wearing headbands, but um, super cute. So they had a lot of clothes here. Well, not a lot, but just a nice little selection. A lot of these things seemed like you could buy them at um, Seiyu or the bunny store in Japan, which is like a kid's store. And they also had, oh, those socks are so adorable. Um, they had a nicely curated selection of toys. So these are some wooden cars. And I remember when my daughter was younger, when she was a baby, I was really intent on buying her all wooden toys for some reason. And so I was living in Japan and there was like so much cute stuff, but a lot of it was all plasticky, you know, and kind of cheapy, but still really cute. A lot of Sanrio stuff, um, just sold in the regular toy section, but I didn't get it for her because I was trying to get her like nicer wooden toys. Um, but thinking back, I wish I would have just gone ahead and purchased them. So they had a lot of cute socks here. Mm, socks are always a good baby gift and these ones were kind of pricey, but Sometimes I think um, I, I like to buy nice gifts that, you know, parents would be happy to take, but they don't, they wouldn't want to spend that much money on like a pair of socks or something themselves. So I think those types of items make nice gifts because um, when you're a parent, you end up just buying a lot of stuff, but you don't always like want to spend a lot of money on it. So I think those are nice items to give as gifts. So I think I'm past the phase in my life where I'm having a lot of babies. Well, I only had two, but I think I'm done with having babies. So I don't know. Sometimes these stores make me want to have another baby because I love like buying all the little baby stuff. Um, it's so cute. And but but I'm not gonna have another one. I think. I'm pretty sure I'm done with having kids. I'm too old now. So. Um, but I always like to look. And then here's the sale rack. Uh, I didn't really see anything good on this sale rack. There's this store called Seiyu, which is like the Japanese Walmart. And these clothing items reminded me of stuff that I would see on the sale rack at Seiyu. Oh, they had such a good selection of Miffy items here. Sometimes it's hard to find Miffy items in the US. In Japan, there's like a Miffy store at um, Tokyo uh, Station, and you can find it in some of the department stores too, but um, it's kind of hard to find in the US, so I was really excited to see this stuff here. And also, I was excited to see those Moomin plushies because my kids are really into Moomin lately, but um, it's also that's another character item that's kind of hard to find in the US, but it's like all over Asia. And they had a lot of cute lunch items. And this is a shoe bag that you um, use for Japanese uh, pre preschool or kindergarten. So when you're in um, preschool, you have to have a bag for everything. And when you go to school, you change out of your shoes and you change into your slippers. And then you have to have a bag to bring your slippers back and forth every week, I think. So they also had a lot of cute Totoro stuff here. Oh, I was I was looking for a, a Gigi cat. Um, I think that's his name. 
um, for a long time and I finally got one. So now that it's Halloween, I'm gonna take out my cat and put it somewhere in the house. I mean, not Halloween, but it's, it's fall, which means it's um, Kiki's delivery service season. Um, so, oh, I would have loved, this is something that I would have wanted to get for my daughter when she was younger. Oh, so this is, um, okay, so behind the Sumiko Gurashi pouch, which I'm looking at, which is really cute, is um, this Monchichi Babichi monkey doll, which is um, kind of kind of hard to find outside of Japan, I think. And this is probably the biggest selection I've seen in the US, but it's just this monkey that's dressed up in different costumes. Oh, Astro Boy, my husband used to like this when he was little. But yeah, there's a light, there's a really nice selection of Monchichi Ubichi here. I did get one for my daughter Sienna when she was in Japan. I think it was like around 20 equivalent of 20 US dollars, which is kind of pricey, I think, for um a little monkey doll. I know this is a small one, but um I think it's a little it's a niche market or you know, there's a there's a group of there's um there are people who are really into Monchichi Ubichi. Okay. This little selection of dresses was, I think, my favorite thing in the store. They were so cute, so retro. I think that they were handmade because they were all kind of different and it looks like somebody sewed these dresses and, and they're selling them in the store. They're so cute, like so retro, so Mad Men. And my kids, um, my, my daughter, when she was three or four years old, she would always have to wear a dress, but now she only wants to wear pants, so... I can't buy her dresses anymore. Kind of sad, but you know, she she has her own style. And here are the Moomin plushies. Um, oh, I thought this little egg toy was so cute. It's like an egg that comes apart, and I'm not sure what the, this concept is, but I just thought this was super adorable. So I'm gonna have to, I think I might get my niece something from the store for Christmas because everything here is so cute. And I think my kids have kind of grown out of a lot of this stuff, but um, I would love to have it if I was um, a young mom. Oh, I have a My Melody bento box that looks just like that, but it's light pink. And I got it from Sanrio Pudo Land, like with the kids meal for free. And well, we paid for it with a kid's meal, but it, we still use it sometimes. Oh, this big cheese bag is so cute. Like, I, I think I would love to carry that to work. <laughs> would look so unprofessional, but so fun. And I think this is a lunch bag. They had a lot of nice bento items here, actually. So, yeah. Oh, those skate decks are super cute. I mean... Are you guys familiar with Pekko-chan, the milky candy character? This is another iconic Japanese character. And it's the mascot for this restaurant called Fujiya. Um, but you don't see it a lot outside of the US. Mouse pads. A lot of really cute things. So, I didn't buy anything here because I was visiting my family and I didn't feel like I needed to take more stuff in my suitcase. I, I saw that they had an online shop, so I figured if there's something I wanted here, I'd go back and purchase it online unless it was really small. And I was really thinking about the Miffy plushies and maybe that, like a, a lunch bag, but I ended up buying um, a Hello Kitty Bagu lunch bag, which I'm not like super thrilled with. So maybe I'll go back online and get some stuff from here. But. They just had a lot of really cute niche Japanese items. So highly recommend this store if you guys are in Little Tokyo and they do have an online shop, which I think I'm gonna have to go back and visit and maybe purchase from. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I did film some other stores in Little Tokyo, so maybe I'll do like a little tour, walking tour, but this was by far my favorite store um, I think, except for Kino Kunio, um, which is a Japanese bookstore, but, um, stay tuned. I'll be making a video of that store as well. So have a great week and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.